Today, I'll show you how you can use Surfshark on your Android phone or tablet. Before you start, please note that the Surfshark app is only compatible with Android 5.0 or later. But now, let's get started. Begin by finding the Google Play Store app on your phone and opening it. In the search bar, type in Surfshark and click search. Surfshark's Play Store page will appear now. Now, click on install and wait until the app installation is complete. Once the installation is complete, tap open. Alternatively, if you cannot access the Google Play Store, you can also download Surfshark from our website. Simply head to surfshark.com forward slash download slash Android and click download APK. Once the download is complete, open the APK and install the app. All right, now let's open up Surfshark. If you don't have an active subscription yet, click create account and start your free seven day trial for Surfshark. If you are an existing user, however, you can just click log in and enter your Surfshark registered email address and password, and then press login again. In addition, if you have 2FA enabled, you will need to enter a six digit code from your Authenticator app of choice and click verify. Welcome to the Surfshark app. If you want the app to quick connect to the fastest server available, click the blue quick connect button at the bottom. You can also customize your quick connect button. So to do that, just click on change. And now you can choose if you want it to connect to the fastest server, the nearest country, or your preferred location of choice. When connecting for the first time, you will be asked to allow Surfshark VPN to accept connection requests. Simply click OK. And if your connection is successful, you will see the option to disconnect or pause by either of these buttons respectively. By tapping on the slider, you can see more information on your connection, such as your new IP address, total connection time, connection protocol in use, and etc. To manually change the VPN server, tap the locations tab and choose your preferred country from the list. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 100 countries to choose from, so I'm sure you'll find the exact location you need. Next to some locations, you will also see a downwards facing arrow. This indicates that this location has a multiple city choices for you to pick from. For example, Australia has Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, and etc. If you want Surfshark to remember your favorite locations, press the star on the right side. Now the server will appear on the top of the list, making it easier to find. If you wish to get the same IP every time, click on static IP and choose from the list of static servers. Surfshark multi-hop feature allows you to connect via two locations for additional security. Better yet, you can create a multi-hop location of your own by choosing the locations, which is pretty neat. If you have dedicated IP, you can also access it right here. If you have upgraded your Surfshark subscription with Surfshark 1, click on Products tab on the bottom, and here you will find Surfshark Alert, Search, and Antivirus. Surfshark Alert will send you an alert if your email and passwords are at a risk of being hacked. For Surfshark Alert to display more in-depth information about breached data, you will have to enable 2FA by logging on your account on my.surfshark.com. Surfshark Search will also give you the option to search the web privately and completely ad-free. Finally, you can click on Surfshark Antivirus to scan your device for any potential threats and remove them. Before scanning, you must allow Surfshark to have file access, which you can do in the settings menu of your device. You may have also noticed an alternative ID tab. Here you can set up your alternative persona, which you can use to create and customize to your own liking. You can also create an alternative email and preserve your privacy online. Alternative ID is also included in the base subscription package. There are a few other things you may want to know about the Surfshark app. So let's click on the settings here on the bottom right. And here you can customize your Surfshark experience even further. In the app settings tab, you can check if you're using the latest version of the app, change app language and appearance. You can also change the settings for notifications, analytics, and crash reports. Next, let's go back and click on VPN settings. If you enable the auto connect, Surfshark will establish a VPN connection to your quick connect server for selected internet networks upon booting your Android device. Here you can also change the VPN connection protocol and also settings for the VPN kill switch, a feature that will turn off your internet connection if the VPN connection drops for whatever reason. You can also enable clean web, which is a feature that blocks ads, malware trackers, and things like that when VPN is connected. Bypasser is a split tunneling tool that allows specific apps or websites to bypass the VPN tunnel. In the VPN settings tab, you can also find advanced settings. Here you can toggle features such as invisible to LAN, which will hide your current device from other devices on the same network. Override GPS location, this feature will match your GPS location with your choice 
chosen server's location. Rotating IP is a feature that changes your IP address on the chosen location every five to 10 minutes without disconnecting from the VPN. You can also toggle no borders, a feature that will help you connect in network restrictive environments. And lastly, use small packets, which improves connectivity when using slow networks. Now, if you go back to the bottom of the settings menu, you'll also find our refer a friend program, which you can use to earn free months for your subscription. Lastly, click on account and here you can simply log out, view your subscription information, enter login code and change your password. And that's all. You have now successfully set up Surfshark on your Android device. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment down below or contact our Surfshark customer support via the help center page, which I'll leave in the description below. But that's all for now. Take care.